So, today I will be painting and speaking about Justice, which is the 11th card in the Rider Waite Smith deck. And the Rider Waite Smith deck functions in cycles of 10. So, this is the start of a brand new cycle in the tarot. And this is number one of that cycle. It's also an echo to the Magician card. So the Magician card is basically a man standing in the same posture as Justice who is seated. And in Justice's hands is one sword raised high above their head and balanced scales. Now, the archetype of justice is something that everyone is familiar with. It's fundamental to society. It's the core principle of society in a lot of ways. And its meaning is essentially equality, balance, fairness, integrity. All of those things that you think of when you think of justice apply here to this card. So to me, the sword that he's raising up high, similar to the suit of swords represents the truth and someone is just is the only person you want wielding the power it's a call to logic and integrity now the balance scale doesn't really need explanation it's the classic symbol of equality it is even it is balanced and it is grounded the robes are symmetrical the setting is symmetrical the whole card is very much rooted in duality. To me, the tapestry is like the fabric of society. And that duality goes even deeper to me. Justice is very androgynous. You'll often hear me referring to justice as a male. But actually, justice is a female, just in the same vein as Lady Liberty. Now, I think that that balance and that equality is part of the feminine and masculine features exhibited in this card. And also, judges are kind of asexual in a way. They're not, they're serious beings. They're professional beings. Under their robes is just more robes. <laughs> so in order for there to be equality, there must be balance. Justice is reflections. It's cause and effect. It's crime and punishment. It's the individual versus the collective or society. Symmetry. Inverted, this could mean that the card energy is blocked. So there's injustice. Justice exists outside of physical reality as a concept. But put into practice, that's when injustice happens. People corrupt justice in the system, and that leads to imbalance. So some of the questions that I ask myself and whoever I'm doing the reading for, if I'm doing a reading is, what is fair? Am I being treated fairly? Is what I think fair actually not fair and vice versa? And also think about consequence. Am I feeling trapped by the threat of consequence? And if that's the case, should you really be doing what you're doing because justice is there? So that's the Justice card, and it's a good card. I recommend you guys check out my painting, and thank you for viewing.